Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Gamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham Rekha Kodesh. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Most of for teaching us the truth and who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word of sincerity and the truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Quetas of Zion, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai with another lesson, with another video, and Lord willing, this video is edifying. God, so in this lesson, I want to go into the fact that the people, they are unaware, they are oblivious, so on, on to the fact of which time that we're living in. Because these people, they, they're not circumspect and they are just unaware. You know, let's go into that. That word oblivious, that word oblivious is lacking uh, conscious awareness, unmindful, lacking all memory, for forgetful, unaware. Let's go into that word unaware, not aware or cognizant, unexpectedly without forethought, unaware followed by, uh, let's see, not aware or conscious, unconscious, asleep, yep, unwitting, unconscious, insensible, uninformated, heedless, unenlightened, <laughs> unmindful, yeah, one of the scriptures that let me see, came to my mind. What was that? The book of... Um, Isaiah. Bear with me for a second. No, Ephesians. Ephesians 1, let me start at 17, and read down until 23, because it says that uh, these people, they were unenlightened, right? So this is Ephesians 1, verse 17, that Yahweh, let me start at 16, Ephesians 1 and 16, cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers that Yahweh, the power of our Lord Yahweh Shai, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So the Most High, he gives you wisdom, right? And he reveals the secret things unto the servants as prophets. That's why they get the revelations, you know, because they see what is happening through the spirit. They see what times uh, we are living in. Verse 18, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. You see, that's why this uh, scripture popped into my mind was reading this earlier. So the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. How? Through the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, the knowledge of Him. Because these people, they are unaware, they are unenlightened. They, they don't know the light. They haven't seen the light because they live in darkness, in gross darkness. You know, the earth is going to be in gross darkness when Jacob's trouble is going to be here, when famine hits, you know, when hard times hit, perilous times hits. So Ephesians 1 verse 18, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints see the glory of the inheritance in the saints we are to inherit something means that you are an heir and what are we going to be we are going to be joint heirs unto Yahweh Shai you see because now it doesn't seem what we are going to be we are the sons of the most high but when he shall appear when Yahweh Shai shall appear we shall be as him you know we are going to be joined unto him that's why it says that uh, we, as a 
bride or making ourselves ready for when Yahweh Shai comes because he's the great bridegroom and when he's gonna come here when he's gonna be gonna not meet Esau as a man when he's gonna come you know we are gonna join unto him we are gonna be, have joint heir you see verse 19 and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power which we wrought in Yahweh Shai, which he wrought in Yahweh Shai, when he raised him up from the dead. Gone. So Yahweh Shai is the first one to be risen from the dead, you know. And in the latter times, when Yahweh Shai is going to appear, you know, then the, the ones that are dead in the truth, the ones that are dead in Yahweh Shai, those are going to be risen up first. But Yahweh Shai is the one that was risen up first, you know. So the ones that are going to come when Yahweh Shai comes, they are going to follow. They, they are going to be the, yeah, let me not say it like that. Let me rewind. Let me, let me reformulate it. Yahweh Shai was the first one to be resurrected from the dead, right? And then you have when Yahweh Shai comes, the... For the, the people that died in the truth, they are going to be res resurrected first. They are going to be not prevent the ones that are living. So in that way, he was the first to be resurrected from the dead. But also, you have that we were spiritually dead, and we have been brought back to the truth. We have been made a living uh, being again. How? Through hearing the truth. You know, through hearing the wisdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So it's double fold. You see? So let me read it again. Isaiah 1 verse 20, which he wrought in Yahweh Shai when he raised him from the dead and set him as it, at his own right hand in the heavenly places. So Yahweh Shai is sitting at the right hand of Yahweh. You see? So uh, his son Yahweh Shai is sitting at his right hand. And Yahweh Shai, when he comes, he said, he's not going to drink from the vine unless I drink it with you. You know, in the kingdom of heaven. You see, so the Yahweh Shai is patiently waiting at the right hand of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Let me see if uh, what does Acts say? Come on, let me get this real quick. Is Acts 1 verse 9. And when we had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. So Yahweh Shai was translated. He was he died, he was risen from the dead, and when he was done supping and uh, prophesying to the um to the disciples for 40 days, you know, then he was received in a, in a chariot, in a cloud, and that's the same way that he's gonna come back, as it says in Revelation 1 and 7. All I shall see him, also the ones that pierced him. You see? So he was translated and is now sitting at the right hand of Yahweh. Verse 21. Far above all principality and power. Let me read it again from the top. This is Isaiah 1 verse 20. Which he wrought in Yahweh Shai when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in the in that which is to come you see so when it speaks about the world then it speaks about the uh, uh, age you know we as the scripture says jacob is going to have next you know as how jacob held past the hill at the heel of esau that's how the kingdom is going to be translated to Jacob. You know, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the, 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 the one. Fall, uh, yeah, Jacob. Let me go to the scriptures. Esau, Jacob, follow. Before I butcher it, this is Second Ezra six and nine. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So as it says here, 
not only in this world but also in that which is to come you see so we are gonna have rulership the the jacob descendants but they're gonna have yahweh he's gonna have the, the the dominion he's gonna be the ruling king he's the king of all kings you see so he's above all dominions and all powers don't forget that verse 22 and had put all things under his feet, Yahweh put all things on all things under Yahweh Shai's feet, and gave him to the head, to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Come on, so Yahweh Shai, the, the church is the body of Yahweh Shai. So if you take care of the church, if you take care of the brotherhood, then you are figuratively taking care of Yahweh Shai, you know, you got to love the members of the body, you got to love the members of the church, you see, Come on, but going back to what I was speaking about, these people are unaware, ignorant, unenlightened, how, how are they unenlightened, because there's a angel that is blocking their understanding, as it says in Isaiah 6, verse 8. This is Isaiah 6, verse 8. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not you see so angel there's an angel blocking the understanding of these people when the prophets prophesy the these people don't understand because if these people would understand then Yahweh Shai would have to come to save him you know but Yahweh Shai he knows the spirits he sees the spirits that are in the flesh and he doesn't want to save certain of them because he knows if you would get it, then I would have to save you. So that's why he was speaking in parables to these people. Let me see. Matthew 13 and start at 13 this is Matthew 13 verse 13 therefore speak I to them in parables on Matthew 13 and 13 therefore speak I to them in parables because they seeing see not and hearing they hear not neither do they understand and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah which is Isaiah which saith, by hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand and seeing ye shall see and shall not perceive because they are not enlightened. They don't have the spirit of Yahweh Shai, you know, to guide them, to help them. Gone. So these people that are going about their day, because we are standing there in camp and we see people walking past them, going about their day, uh, uh, doing the things according to, the, to this world, which ultimately goes into the image of the peace, you know, if you don't take a stand, as the scripture says, he that doesn't uh, gather with me is spreading abroad, so you are against the ways of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Actually, you are against the men of the Lord. You are against Yahweh Shai, why Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. You see? So if you are against them, then the Most High is not going to save you in the time of destruction, which is about to come, which is about to fall upon this earth. You see, just like you had in Sodom and Gomorrah, exactly in like manner, this place is going to be destroyed. It's going to be destroyed by fire. By what fire? By intercontinental ballistic missiles. By thermonuclear fire. You see? Let's go to Isaiah 13. Verse 
verse 19, and Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency, shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be, shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. You see, so these Arabians, these Ishmaelites, they love to, um, and that should say handle, they love to um, trade merchandise, they're merchants, you know, so they would often, um, if there's somewhere to, uh, that money is to be made, that's where you're going to see these Arabians and Ishmaelites, you know, they're, they're pitching tent everywhere just to, 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 to make a deal with you, you see, so the scripture says, not even those people are going to dwell there, you know, verse 21, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, dwell there, and satires shall dance there. So, actually, only certain creatures, only owls, or certain unclean, unclean creatures are gonna dwell there. You see, verse twenty-two, and the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant places, and her time is near to come. And her days shall not be prolonged. Gone. So, as it says, her time shall not be prolonged. So, it's going to come. You know, the, uh, Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed. And it's going to be destroyed in one hour, as it says in Revelation 18. You see? So, let's go back to Isaiah 6. Let's jump to, yeah, let's read till 11. This is Isaiah 6, verse 10. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. You see? So, these people, they shouldn't be healed, they shouldn't hear and understand, because if they hear the truth, then they might get saved, you know, and then they're going to convert, meaning to come back, you see, they're going to repent and co convert, let's go to that word, convert, see what that means, it means to turn back to, you see, convert, 1300s, a chance, a change to turn from one's religion to another, was actually this, See if I can click on it. See, con means uh, to turn, and where means to turn or bend. I can't really select it, I can't zoom in either. But it says for folger, folger Latin. Convertire from Latin convertir, turn around, transform from a simulated form of com, which is with together. See, con means to turn, and where means to bend. Let's see, the Latin verb was glossed in Old English by Gisirin Gis from Shiaran to turn or to return. So basically, let me see what Google says because this is kind of confusing. Gone. Middle age, middle English in the same turn round, sent in the in a different direction from old French convertir, based on Latin convertire, turn about from con altogether, and verte is turn. So altogether turn. Con is uh, better. So it says, make the heart of these people fat, first then make the heart of these people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, meaning with their mind, and convert, 
so altogether turn back to the ways of the Heavenly Father and be healed. So that's the task of the angel to block their understanding, block their eyes and block their ears. Verse 11, Then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant and the houses without men and the land utterly desolated. Uh, desolate. So that's what we just read in the book of Isaiah 13. You know, that Babylon the Great is going to be desolated and then actually this task of this angel is going to cease because this angel has to block these people. He has to keep them un unaware of the, the, the times that they're living in. You know, these, per these dangerous times actually. You know, because this is the time to seek the, the, the Most High. And after this, it's going to be destruction. As it says, you know, how long shall, shall this angel do this job? Until the cities be wasted without inhabitants. You see? So with that, I hope this video is edifying. And I want to say, Kalalal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rekha, Kudash. Shalom, Akim.